Hi friends and happy Monday. This week I'm visiting Arizona's Chiricahua National Monument and today I'm enjoying one of the area's stunning trails. Join me along the Masai Point Nature Trail. Masai Point is located at an elevation of over 6,800 feet. In fact, Chiricahua is often referred to as an island in the sky, so don't be surprised in the winter months to see snow here. The half mile loop trail only has about 50 feet in elevation change, so it's definitely not very difficult. And the first paved portion from the parking area to the exhibit area is wheelchair accessible. But then as it continues on, there is rocky, uneven step-like terrain along the path. The trailhead splits with two options to reach the exhibit building. To the right, you have the stone carved steps, the most direct route, but to the left, you have the wheelchair accessible path that leads to panoramic views behind the backside of the building. That would be my personal preference on this adventure. end of the parking lot when you head to the Masai Point exhibit building you get 360 degree views of southeastern Arizona including Sugarloaf, the San Simon Valley, and Sulphur Springs Valley. Once you've explored all the outside you can head into the exhibit building for more wonderful information and fabulous views. inside the structure describe in detail the Chiricahua Mountains and at the rear of the exhibit building a cement walkway leads down the back side of the hill to the Masai Point Nature Trail. Whether you take the more adventurous steps at the front of the building or you take the longer gentle paved path I definitely think this overlook area is worth a stop on your visit here. Once you've made your way back down the paved exhibit building trail, you'll reach the trailhead and you can head out on the Masai Point Nature Trail, which is only half a mile, but the train is a bit different here. In 1976, Congress designated over 9,000 acres of Chiricahua National Monument as Class I Pristine Wilderness. And along this trail, visitors see much of the designated wilderness area. It is important to note that the stone steps can be a bit rocky and uneven in areas along this trail. Just past the Masai Point parking lot is the trail and you can head to the Overlook or you can take the Ed Riggs Trail all the way to Echo Canyon. This really is an educational loop because interpretive signs all along the trail explain the area's history, Chiricahua Mountain's volcanic past, and they share a lot of answers to the hows and whys of Chiricahua National Monument. Well over a dozen information panels dot this trail, and after reading them, you'll complete your journey here with a deeper appreciation for this incredible area. In the 1930s, the Civilian Conservation Corps did an incredible job carving the stone stairs here to the lookout points. Continuing on along this trail, you'll soon reach what most consider to be the highlight of this hike. 
Bonita Canyon Highway was completed in 1934, leading to Maasai Plateau, and the CCC constructed Speaker Rock, offering visitors stunning Maasai Point views. To get to the wonderful overlook, you do have to deal with the rough terrain, but I think it's worth it for these views of the Hoodoo. Following the path, the trail leads along a hillside overlooking the monument, and a short side trail takes you to the top of one of the hoodoos. This spot was built for the 1934 dedication of Chiricahua National Monument. If you're curious about the name Maasai Point, it might be a bit of a misnomer. Early settlers in Shirakawa Mountains often encountered Apache who lived in this region. Sometimes settlers would confuse people they encountered with more famous Apache, and that could be the case behind the naming of Maasai Point. From what I understand, Maasai was a Chiricahua Apache, and he was a scout with Captain Emmett Crawford of the 3rd Cavalry, who was killed in Mexico while tracking Geronimo. When the U.S. government forcibly removed the Apache, Maasai and his family were sent on the trains, despite the fact that he had served the U.S. Army. Now, it's said that the as the train was moving, Maasai jumped off and made his way home. Maasai later was accused of crimes and rapes he did not commit by local settlers, and it's been said that perhaps one of those false accusations led to Maasai Point being named for him. Archaeologists continue to research and explore the Chiricahua Mountains and the deep Chiricahua Apache history here, so please remember all the leave no trace principles when visiting this incredible site. Thank you so much for joining me this week at Chiricahua National Monument. And for more information on Maasai Point Nature Trail, see my full blog post at flyingdawnmarie.com. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And until next week, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you go. Bye.